Hey guys, as you see here, I've actually got the PS2 running now through the EasyCab software, uh, and that is the EasyCab Viewer, link in the description for that link. And basically, if you're wondering uh, what's that program, that, that program is basically allowing me to use the D60, um, the black one, um, on my Mac. And it all works the same, it still captures, there's no like really bump in, you know, resolution or something with the D60+, Plus. it's just D60+, Plus made for the Mac and Windows. So there's no, there's no need to spend like 30 bucks for the D60+, Plus. um, just spend like 5 bucks for <laughs> the EasyCap D60, and just get this software, it all runs the same, this is also freeware, so, you know, it's open source, um, you can do anything what you want with it. So now we're going to take a look on um, how it is right here. So now this is what you get. Now if I was to you know bump up this you know really big, you can actually see the lines going through, etc. Because it's going through S Video, and you know it's not S Video. Is the, it's better than um, you know component or composite. Sorry, the RCA cables, but um, what's it called? Not as good as component. Um, but like I said before in the start, um, I'm basically splitting my two videos apart with the S video coming into my computer and the component going out to my TV and it still works the same and I get a really good resolution so I'm still able to play you know my videos without being distracted by you know what's this little midget person, is that a person, is that a tree or is that whatnot? so that really helps. So now this is my, the, this is my settings right here, let me try to, uh, there we go so this is my settings right here if you want to take a look at that um, now basically I have this on PAL um, if you're in wherever else I'm running on 50 Hertz at the moment if I go to like 60 Hertz it doesn't work for some reason obviously S video and then the brightness I bumped it up a little bit um, contrast I really bumped it up because um, what's it called it just wasn't giving a nice feeling it was more like a grayscale um, tint leaves, leave it as it is because you don't really want you know change the color of anything else So yeah, so now this is the EasyCab viewer, you know, like I said, link in the description if you want to download that. Um, this is basically, and if you see the video on your right hand side, or left, sorry, um, you'll see the comparison between, you know, the S video and component. Um, there's not much of a big difference while you're just looking at it on YouTube, but, you know, if if you take my word for it and do get this cable, um, you know, with S video and component and the AV outputs, um, there's a huge difference. I mean, if you're running, at, you know, to your TV with component, it it helps you, you know, game so much better instead of just playing it on your small monitor or something. Even if you have like a 30-inch monitor, and it doesn't have component, and you're just running it through S Video, you're not going to have a better game as you did like on HDMI because you're getting that really crisp. You're getting that, you know, the small details in there to see, you know, a little. You know, just say you're playing Call of Duty and you see a sniper in the background with HDMI, and then if you're running on S Video, it will just be a blur. So you know, it's not really a big help, but if you have that running, diverting it, like splitting it into your um, TV, it helps a lot. Some people say they split the AV RCA cables, and you know, they still so they'll get the RCA going into the computer and then the RCA going to the TV because they split it. Um, that's not really doing anything. You might as well just play on your computer because it's still going to look the same, unless you're playing like on a CRT TV, where you know RCA. That's what RCAs are made for. They're made for CRT TVs. So, anyways, that's the end of this video. If you need any questions, uh, don't hesitate to send me an email or you know hit me up on my website. Uh, I'll probably get a written review on um, on the EasyCap software on my website. So take a look at that. Um, so catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so as you see here, I couldn't insert the video um, when I actually said I was going to actually show the cross footage. So here it is. So I'm basically showing, um, you know, going switch over to my computer where it's running the S video and onto my TV like you see now, which is the component. Now, if just by looking at it, there's you can't really tell a difference or really see, you know, any difference in the actual footage. But you just have to take my word for it. If you do actually get the cables. Um, and you're running S Video or RCA, you can see a big difference. I mean, there is a really saturated blur on there, and um, it doesn't really help, you know, if you're running, you know, the RCA or even S Video onto your computer. So it's better yet to go, you know, component and really get that crisp quality in there because you'll be able to play your games as you were as you were playing HDMI because you don't want to really be sitting there trying to concentrate on a few things.